Good morning, this is Dot Tone Dan, and uh, I'm here to give you another tip on uh, just your average everyday kind of screen printing. Here's logos on the back of a t-shirt, sponsors, a bunch of different logos, the customer provided. But here's something I wanted to point out about raster artwork with logos that have been dropped in at different sizes and scaled and stuff. And this is all about resolution and uh, image clarity. So my image size is uh, 13 by 19 at 300 resolution. Um, <coughs> for printing out the file, I don't really need it the exact same page size for film. Um, so I can crop that down and work with something smaller. And then um, the next thing I want to do is create, this is all one color, so I'm just going to create a merged layer and uh, go to the right fly out, merge visible, puts everything on this one layer here. I select all, copy, and I paste in to a new window, paste. And so it looks simple enough, right? One color. But here's the thing. Uh, your rips are all going to output halftone unless you have one set to output a bitmap, um, which is a one pixel. That's another story. But um, So what we have here is a raster artwork file, and these logos are pasted in at different resolutions, and then they might be scaled and... Nothing wrong with this, it's just a way that people need to build art files sometimes, right? So, for a separator, this is not the final piece. This is like the art proof or the mock-up. Um, something to work with, and that's basically what I'm getting at. As you see, there's fuzzy, soft, pixelated edges on this artwork. All of it. And if I'm printing one color, I don't want that. Right, I don't want half tones on the outside because I'll show you. Select all, copy new, and paste. And so I got the same thing. Then I'm going to go to uh, create bitmaps at a high resolution. Let's say uh, 600 resolution, which would be my output onto film. Half tone screen. 55 line screen and here's what you get <clears throat> looks good right so when you blow up it's rough it's rough because of that pixelated fuzzy edge out there is not solid black or white it's gray tones right in this area and when you convert that to a rip or send it to a rip it converts it into what it's trying to do is create half tones of that to simulate your gray shades. And so you can see how rough this looks. Um, <clears throat> some people will just print this and uh, you know, you'll get what you get, but that's, <coughs> you know, they get this result on their shirt and they don't know why it's that bad, but that's what they got. So they print it. Um, so what you do with this file is you select each individual logo and treat it separately because they're going to be, they have different detail that you're going to need to adjust accordingly. So for this one, I'll adjust levels. Pretty simple to do, uh, to get levels. <coughs> Control or con uh, Command L. And uh, that's the shortcut key. Uh, I think it's under, it's been a long time since I've gone under the menu bar to do it. Uh, select, uh, the image edit, adjustments, curves and levels. So those are the two things there that, I don't, I don't ever use adjust brightness and contrast. I, this is, gives you more control. Um, so this is the, keyboard shortcut for that. So I want to burn out a little bit of that 
because I'll make it too fat if I just increase from the solid, this is the black area here, and this is the white area, and this is all that gray matter. Um, so I don't wanna just like fatten it up, I wanna kinda meet it in the middle. And my goal is to make that all solid black and white pixels. You see there's a little bit of gray left there. That's what that point is right there. And these little spikes at the very tips. So you see you can fill those in more solid. And that's just been treated on that top logo. These little nubs out here of extra pixels, you'll never see that in the shirt. Don't worry about it. Uh, I get kind of anal sometimes and I'll take my brush tool and um, that's, that by the way is one pixel at uh, that re 300 resolution and uh, so I paint with either black or white and I just hold my shift key go straight across you know and I can clean up those edges but I don't really need to do that because this won't be seen that way too easily um, on the shirt once it's printed. So now I do the same thing to this. And I come over to this one. Same thing. And you see some areas are thicker and thinner, so you want to be careful of how you burn that out because there won't be anything there to hold in the screen if you just eliminate too much of it, right? So you kind of need to play it by ear and look at it and adjust each one manually. There. This one, um, going to be a little bit more difficult. I might even treat this tight separately. This is going to print much cleaner and crisper on your film and obviously you'll get a better burn on your screen from that as a result. You won't have those half tones in there. So you see I'm opening this up because I know that this area in print will fill in a little bit. So I can open that up, open up my small type. That's going to be fine. But this type in here, I don't necessarily want to adjust that that way. So I'm got the little minus icon. I'm holding down my option key and using my lasso tool and I'm taking away or cutting a hole into this selection. So now I won't be affecting that. I'll just be affecting this outer part you see there. And separations is all about selections. And now I'll select just this inside. Make it heavier. Burn it out a little bit. And that's going to print more cleanly. This logo down here is going to be a tough one. In these cases, I might even take my uh, burn tool and adjust over top and fill in these areas, these thin areas, so that they don't, don't you know, because if I just take it again, there'll be nothing there. So here in this case, I don't want to like overfill it. See, there's a lot of junk in there too. Stuff that'll show up in halftone on your conversion when you go through the rip. You'll see little dots out there and stuff and just, it's trash. So you want to clean that up. A little bit at a time. Um, so this area here, I want to heavy this up.
So again, simple black and whites, one colors, are not always, you know, simple and easy. <laughs> Especially with uh, sponsor logos, you gotta do a lot of crap to them. Because most people, even art departments that don't do separations, they'll just throw the logos in there, <laughs> maybe even auto trace, and uh, you know, it just looks bad. So um, the separator has to clean it up, do a lot of work to it. So I'm just making sure that all this detail actually prints. That's my job, that's what I do. Because it's there and the customer is expecting it to be there. And so if you just use what you get, technically you're right because you used what you got, but you as the professional, the person who knows what you need to do, should be coming in and cleaning this up and making it work right. Now that's always a decision on usually a financial decision on uh, the owner or the management or your art director um, as to how much time they need to put into this. Because maybe let's say it's only for, I don't know, 36 shirts. And they don't want you spending three hours on art, right? Um, so it's a give and take. You kind of have to decide how much you can do And so in a nutshell, I'd come back and clean that up a little bit. That one's gonna take the most time. And then, you know, so I'll look at this and even though it's already rough, I'll uh, take out the, the, the gray pixel area. You don't want it even worse than what it started with. Same here, fill it in, open it up. Same over here. Just treat each one individually because they're individual logos with different amounts of detail and fuzziness. There I'm using my magic wand tool. I just, you know, I, you see how it changes there? I can add more to that selection or I could hold down, that's holding down the shift key to add or I can hold down the option key to subtract from my selection. So let's say if I wanted to treat just the outside of this and then come in and bump it up, open that up, and then to deselect and come in and select that area. So that in a nutshell, I got more to do down here and stuff, but that in a nutshell is how you start to clean that up. Uh, so one colors is not always as simple as just sending it to film. You need to adjust it. That's it. Dot tone Dan out. Bye bye.